Along the coast of Louisiana, nearly 80 miles from New Orleans, lies a small island, Isle de Jean Charles. A band of Biloxi, Chittimaca, Choctaw Indians settled here in the early 1800s. They lived a self-sufficient existence with an abundance of game, fish, and fertile farmland. The water you see behind us now, in this area where we're planting this grass, was all hard land, you know, it was all farmland at one time. Uh, and if all this goes, then we go with it, you know, and then the culture will die with it also. In 1953, the island road was built, the only way on or off the island other than watercraft. Through the years, it was often engulfed by rising water and storm surges. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina battered the coast of Louisiana. Isle de Jean Charles found itself at ground zero, being washed away inch by inch. The wetlands protecting the island and the road were severely impacted. Which is why the Shell Exploration and Production Company teamed up with the Coastal Conservation Association to create the Floating Islands Project. We want to demonstrate that there are different technologies that are going to be needed to restore this coastal area and to help protect these, these cultural and Native American communities like the one we're here in today. The floating islands are made up of 100% recycled plastic bottles formed to create a man-made ecosystem for native plants that will later form a protective shoreline for the shrinking island. Shell enlisted the help of three local schools and their students to help make this project a reality. It's just, you know, you're doing something so when you come back with your kids, you're going to be like, oh, I planted, I planted that a long time ago, I did that, you know. We're doing something about it. It was good for our future. We're actually taking some of the plants and we're putting them in these mats so that we can put them on the coast so that the land doesn't get eroded as bad as it already is. I think it's really fun and it's a really good program for coastal erosion. These students constructed 40 mats that stretch nearly 800 linear feet along the shoreline protecting the island road. Connecting today's youth to their environment is an equally important goal of the Floating Island Project. It gives you hope and courage in the young people that are participating here. We ultimately want to build back the land to, so if this really works, we can continue this project in this area and other areas around the coast. Project leaders and volunteers hope the final outcome will result in a new chance at survival for Isle de Jean Charles and its residents. Congratulations to the Shell Exploration and Production Company and its Floating Islands Project, the first place winner of the 2013 Gulf Guardian Award in the Environmental Justice and Cultural Diversity category.